Hi guys, General Splatton here, aka Tyrannosaurus Mess. Just want to give you a quick update of a uh, diorama I'm building with my daughter. i uh, let you know a little about it. It's a work in progress, so it's still not finished yet. Uh, all the miniatures have been painted and they've been set onto the board, uh, but I still got to uh, finish uh, the uh, tree. I've got some moss to add, some lichen that I want to put on it as well. Got to clean up the figures where some static grass has gotten into it. Uh, got to um, do some uh, additional work that I'll be explaining about in just a moment. Uh, so, to let you know a little about it, the all the miniatures, uh, except for the tree which I built obviously, are uh, Reaper miniatures. I uh, was in the hobby shop and saw these pumpkin horrors right here. Thought that'd be something neat to uh, build with um, my uh, daughter and paint up. Also the pumpkins as well, <coughs> and these also. Uh, a few days later, I was back there and I don't know how I, miss, I got it missed it the first time, but uh, I found this pumpkin horror and I thought that would be a great centerpiece. Uh, I really enjoy the uh, Reaper miniatures. Uh, uh, some of the sculpts are just amazing. Uh, this camera's not doing it justice. I uh, apologize for the glossiness of it. I've uh, sprayed the whole model with a uh, gloss varnish uh, to uh, set the uh, uh, fine ballast that I'm using for the ground cover. Uh, so, still hadn't been dulled down yet with a uh, final uh, matte varnish. But uh, just to give you a, an idea uh, about uh, progress, apologize for not doing pictures or video uh, when it was less complete than it is right now. Uh, the uh, ballast that I'm using for uh, sand, uh, put down obviously with PVA glue, but I set it. Um, once I glued on all the uh, figures, I set it with uh, just gloss varnish. So I'd do something different than putting uh, PVA glue, uh, brushing it on the top of it to uh, set it. Uh, worked uh, really well. Uh, also gave a, another protective coating to the uh, figures, obviously. Uh, the uh, ballast that I used for the uh, rocks in the landslide area uh, I put down with PVA glue but then I uh, set them in place and just sprayed it on that area with this craft uh, bond uh, uh, multi-purpose spray adhesive so uh, that worked out really well they're uh, really firm uh, and so didn't want to take the time to brush it I like just taking a few seconds and spraying it and being done with it which uh, I thought was cool uh, the uh, static grass that I put down uh, is all Woodland Scenic, or I mean, excuse me, Gale Force 9. I really like their products. Uh, combination of different grasses and then the, uh, these, the uh, foliage, clump foliage, you know, that you can use in a variety of different ways. Uh, the um, <coughs> static grass, I put down not in layers, but I uh, brushed on the PVA glue all over the uh, areas that I wanted the grass and lightly sprinkled them in. Uh, the greenish one is dead grass. The uh, then I, the tan is an arid. And then I, right here in, in some certain areas I put, this is a uh, ma uh, marsh blend. It's also back over here as well. The, uh, I didn't coat each area completely. I left, uh, I used thin layers so that way I could kind of mix the grasses in to give them a more natural looking effect. Now, so, in some areas, like here for instance, around the tree, I wanted it just that one color and obviously out through here. But for around the uh, pumpkin golem and the pumpkin horrors, I wanted kind of an intermingling, a mix as it were, to uh, make it more realistic and uh, lifelike. Uh, so that's the uh, different. Uh, grasses that I use to achieve this effect. Uh, so, uh, tell me what you think. Uh, it's Like I said, it's not finished. Still got to do the tree. I'm, I'm going to put some uh, 
what amounts to Spanish moss for the uh, tree itself uh, and then also some lichen uh, growing on the uh, trunks itself uh, um, going to maybe put a couple of uh, small rocks uh, around the uh, base and uh, maybe do some other brow dry brushing before I finally uh, clean it all up and then uh, spray it with uh, Tester's Dull Coat uh, to uh, uh, finish it on out. And then I'll hopefully give you all an update of what it looks like and I uh, look forward to hearing your comments. Uh, I, please subscribe. Uh, there's going to be other videos in the uh, future. I'm working on uh, some other projects right now. So uh, please subscribe and rate and leave a comment uh, or send me a personal message with what you think. I uh, look forward to hearing from you. Uh, anything, that, uh, recommendations, what I could have done differently or still can do uh, to it. Uh, you know, somebody might have a really great idea out there that I want to try and uh, put in. So um, let me know what you think. I uh, look forward to uh, hearing from y'all. Well, we'll talk to you later. Bye.